They are coming. Go, torch it. Burn it all. But what about the serum? Leave nothing. Now I will show you how I deal with informants. Finish him. With pleasure. These are the coordinates Ellis sent. Over there. It's Ellis. Executed. Leon, you find anything? The place is torched. I don't know what they were growing, but it wasn't narcotics. Romer knew we were coming. So what's our next move? We watch for the next viral outbreak. We won't have to wait long. Logan's report was clear enough. I want two additional teams assigned to this. Find Romer. I understand. Logan is my best agent. What do you want to do? Nothing. We will wait. We will wait and see what he can discover. Our WHO contact was correct. Everyone within 100 miles is dead. Not everyone. This man is still alive. How is that possible? It's not. card in there. Let's do that real quick. So yeah, I'm Liam. This is uh, one of the first best plays I've ever done. I think I'm going to be doing a new game. Start from the beginning there. So I'm not sure how far I am in my load game. Alright, so you guys go ahead and read this if you want, but I'm just going to Let's get past it now. When does the operation begin? Our intelligence within the FBI was not clear, but Romer's men are already inside the subway. Is it the same virus? Yes, enough to eliminate everyone within a hundred miles or more. Procedure? Standard intercept and eliminate. These are from our contact inside Interpol. Jenkins' team is already on search and defuse. You are the trigger. I recognize Anton Gerdu and Mara Aramov. Who's the other one? Pavel Kredich, Roma's communications expert. When you eliminate him, you'll also have to destroy his calm uplink. You'll be dropped into the strike zone when the firefight begins. You'll have an hour to find your targets and take them out. Do the locals know what they're dealing with? No. I've got an ID match for Roma on level one. Gerdu is on level two. No location yet for Kravitz, and I don't see any sign of Aramon. Copy. I'm on my way. Alright guys, so this is 7 Builder 1. This is, uh, I'm playing this on my PS3. <clears throat> because, uh, that's just, I have it for the PS1 on the disc right now, but, uh, I don't have a PS1 on me, so. I'm playing on normal difficulty instead of hard. You have to input a code for hard. And I didn't input the code. Uh, my load file on my memory card has hard difficulty that I'm playing on right now, but I wanted to start fresh. I haven't done normal in years. So. CBDC has an agent pinned down at your location. They're requesting cover fire. This is actually one of my favorite games, one of my favorite franchises, I should say. Um, it's such an old game, you can hardly say it's one of your favorites, right? But it's it just has that nostalgia factor. I've been playing this since it first came out in 99, and I've stayed true to the series ever since. Where's those, where are those guys? Come on now. What the fudge is going on? There he is. Oh. That never happens. There are two guys running off from there. That's weird. So here's an M16. If you go in through the room to my left, you can use your flashlight, which I'll show you right now, I guess. So he's def finished defusing the bomb, I guess. Cool. <clears throat> so there's grenades there. Not really important because you're not going to be using them, but... It's all good, right? More weapons, the happier you are. That's how we say things in America. 
Except I'm Canadian. You don't have to kill these guys, they don't even pose any bit of a threat, but let's just do it anyway. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of a cold, so if I do decide to uh, clear my throat every now and again, that's why. And yes, I do ignore quite a few people in this level because, you know, if they're not in your way, then, you know, fuck it, right? Just, you know, fuck it. Totally fuck it. So these guys, I'm gonna ignore them as well. Some people, actually most people like to do this part first, but I'm not one of them. I like to not backtrack. Uh, spray and pray there. And here's a cool area for you. First I'm gonna shoot this lock. Aiming in this game is so stiff, it's so hard to aim properly. You gotta be really on your toes. On hard mode, it's ridiculous how hard this game is when you get to the later levels. <clears throat> but up here is probably the mother of all weapons in this game. It's the M79, which is probably my favorite gun, if you can call it a gun. It's a grenade launcher. It's pretty badass. Now, I play a lot of uh, third-person action stealth genre games. <clears throat> this was probably the first one that I played when I was younger. Um, Gabe, this must be where the subway security bypass switch is located. Find it and shut it off. Copy. See if you can find a copy of the subway system security protocols. So, I don't need to use my flashlight for this part, but this is the switch you need to turn on. You've bypassed the subway security. The ramp in the first terminal should be clear now. Uh, Metal Gear Solid is a game I played right after this one because I loved Cyber Builder so much that I decided, okay, well, let's go get his competition, and I ended up falling in love with Metal Gear as well, but <clears throat> personally I like Cyber Builder a little better, even though Metal Gear is such a brilliant franchise, and there's absolutely nothing wrong I could say about that franchise. Gabe, I'm getting interference. You must be near their communications array. Kravich. Um, other games I'd love to do Let's Plays for is, uh, you know, the classics like Splinter Cell and Hitman and I've taken Assassin's out Kravich Creed. and destroyed the comm equipment, but I don't see their uplink dish. I'll trace it. If you can call those classics yet, I mean, this house is pretty, still pretty new, considering how old these games are. Uh-oh. What you doing? Come at me, bro. He was like, oh, what's, what's going on, man? I was just chilling, just going to say hi. Oh, ah, you shot me, nigga. Yeah, well, that's what happens when, you, uh, when you're when you in a video game, man. It's your own fault for being in a video game. <clears throat> so yeah, down here, you gotta enter the subway. Leon's gonna call me a sec, because she, uh, she's my girlfriend. We, we talk lots. The rumors might have set a viral bomb on level one. If you find and tag it, I'll give its location to CBDC. Copy. Where's Romer? Level two. I'm on my way. If you find it, tag it. Bitch, don't tell me what to do, nigga. I will bust a cap in somebody else's ass, because it's illegal to hurt women. <laughs> oh, come at me. Come on. So be careful with these trains. They'll, they'll kill you dead. Tell CBDC to get guys down here. Copy. They're on their way. And Gabe's a pretty, pretty beasty dude. He can survive a lot of shit, but train's not one of them. Alright, switch the shotgun. These gas mains, <clears throat> you're gonna have to turn on in the next mission. But for now, let's just ignore them. Again, I don't need my flashlight for this part, but I just want you guys to see where the elevator controls are. People still play this game, and that's what I love, is, is people are still somewhat keeping this franchise alive, even though there hasn't, had, hasn't been a new game since 20. 2007, I think. I've located 
Romer. He's on the lower level, arming another bomb. I'm moving. I. Oh. Oh. So this mission's almost done. It's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Hopefully you followed along to where you need to go and all that. I mean, I'm not really explaining where to go. I'm just kind of doing the thing. You know, you guys know what it's all about, you know? When you're playing a game, it's, it's hard to be like, okay, go here, and uh, oh, for, I forgot to say that you're supposed to go go here, um, but but you're supposed to go there. You know, I, just, I just like to talk. Alright, that's it. I'm setting a beacon. Wait. Leon, this one's different from the others. It has a shorter timer, and it looks... Gabe, that's not viral. It's too late! Oh, my goodness. And that's it. That's the end of the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed my 7th of the one. Let's play. I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys in the next mission.